El Segundo Bottom. I believe they're named that way because that's where it became a common technique. They slot the shell, fill it full of concrete up to the slot, install a new floor sticking through the slot, cut the slot and then the tank sets atop the new floor. Weld the new floor to the existing shell. But what I wanted to show you is when they remove this insulation to do some work to convert this tank from oil to condensate, natural gas condensate, um, I can see that this tank has had some corroding events going on, some CUI, corrosion under the insulation, as I show it to you, pan left and right, and you see that some of it is existing corrosion, corrosion that's been there since the last time the tank was coated, because it's underneath the coating, of course, and then other stuff that's that's new, newer, since the last time this tank was insulated. I've measured out a spot. The insulation is not quite two foot tall removed, about 22 inches or so exposed, and about nine inches wide from that vertical weld. And as you see, I've measured pitting from 35 mils to as deep as 75 mils. That's fairly significant. And as I go around this tank, as I go around this tank, the shell is in similar condition all the way around the tank. You can see that there's at least two different coatings on the tank. I don't know if that's a base color or one was a finished coat on top of the base or if it's two separate events. But the, uh, the pitting is definitely from two different events. That CUI has been pretty extensive. Anyway, I thought you guys might be interested in seeing that. I guess we could talk about this El Segundo bottom also.